Hey everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the three things that we go over on the channel each and every single day. And those three things include all the daily collection sets and their current cycles. We're going to go over all the daily challenges. First, the list mode, and then we're going to follow that up with extensive detail. And then last but not least, we're going to go over Madame Nazar's location. But if you guys uh, are wanting to see more videos about Red Dead Online or just videos in general, make sure that you guys go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below. Also, make sure that you guys turn on bell notifications if you guys are really enjoying my content because I do have a wide variety of different content here on the channel from Red Dead Online to Minecraft and soon to be starting a brand new Minecraft channel. So make sure that you guys are checking that out. I'll have more details on that in the future. But anyway, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying, and if you guys really are, make sure that you guys do those three simple things so that more and more people can get helped here in Red Dead Online. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the daily collection sets and their current cycles. We're going to start with the fossils, which will be a part of cycle number three. We have the loss of jewelry at cycle number five. The arrowheads at cycle number four. The family heirlooms at cycle number five. And then the coins at cycle number six. Now, the next four sets that I'm about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them, but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. So definitely get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can, because ultimately it's going to help you guys make as much money as possible. Now, if you guys have been doing anything with the Moonshiner roll, you have a few hours left in order to get that 50% bonus. So definitely go ahead and take advantage of it if you possibly can, because it is a good amount of money that you can make in addition to everything else. And it is completely passive income, which is really nice in my opinion. But anyway, uh, these four sets, uh, we got American Wildflowers. That's going to be a part of cycle number six. It's going to be three sets every single day. Tarot cards at cycle number three. Antique alcohol bottles at cycle number six. And then the bird eggs at cycle number three. All right, let's quickly uh, take a look at what the daily challenges are for today. We're going to go over the list mode, and then we're going to follow that up with extensive detail. Obviously, we know what one of them is. You can see it counting up right there. One biggest fish contest completed. One channel catfish caught. A distance of 5280 distance traveled on a mount we got three items sold to a fence five non-player enemies killed from cover five red pickerel Bridfin pickerel caught and then we got one visited the peak of mount hagen the bounty hunter roll we got two bounties brought in from new hanover posters three bounty targets hogtied with a reinforced lasso and then we have three bounty targets lassoed from horseback the trader roll we have 20 carcasses donated within a 10 minute period we have six large animal carcasses donated to Crips, and then we got seven medium animal carcasses donated to Crips. The collector roll, we got five bird eggs found, three collectibles looted from non-player enemies, and then three lost jewelry found. The moonshine roll, we got completed special moonshine recipe, two crafted toxic moonshine, one moonshine sold with at least five minutes left. And then last but not least, we have the naturalist roll. Three forest river animal samples taken, two legendary animal samples taken, and then two legendary animals found using pheromones. All right, let's go ahead and break these down so hopefully you guys can make as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online and uh, complete as many of these daily challenges and a few other things as well. So we got one biggest fish contest completed. Now this one, um, you need to be in a posse with somebody else. It doesn't matter if it's their posse or your posse. Either one will be just fine. And then whoever the leader is, just go ahead and start the biggest fish contest completed. And I would recommend, obviously, doing this one right here for the channel catfish. So all you need to do is go over to the Lemoyne area, specifically right here in the Lagros area. And right here, you guys will find Longnose Gar and Chattel Catfish. If you guys have the special Swamp Lure, you don't have to worry about it breaking, and you're going to be able to catch those two specific fish, and then just keep catching it until you catch one of them. But you can hopefully do it during the time that you're participating in the biggest fish contest completed. And then once it's done, you'll get the reward for completing it, but there is no reward for actually doing it with the, the pot or posse member. Basically, it's more or less just for fun and entertainment within the posse itself. All right, then we got a distance of the 52 traveled on a mount. You can do it by any way, as long as you're on your horse. You can just walk, you can run, you can gallop, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you're on your horse, travel a mile. We got three items sold to a fence. Any of the fence locations will actually do. There's a fence location right over there, in um, right here in um, Emerald Ranch or Emerald Station area. So right there. There's also going to be one over in Van Horn. You have one down in San Denis. There's going to be one over in Thieves Landing, and that is pretty much it. All right, so Thieves Landing is actually going to be right down here. All right, 
Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We got five non-player enemies killed from cover. So what you're going to want to do is you can either do this with like the bootlegger missions or the poacher missions or whatever, um, and then get behind cover and start shooting them. Otherwise, if you don't care about your honor, you can go to Va uh, Van Horn or even Thieves Landing. Both of those locations have fences. So if you're going to sell three items to a fence, go to one of those locations. Just, start, just shoot anybody in town and then get into cover. Then that's pretty much going to be that one done and covered. Uh, five redfin pickerel caught. Go to any body of water. Uh, you could actually do this right around the log raw area as well. Um, redfin pickerel do prefer food bait, specifically bread bait, in order to catch them. But a lot of other fish will go after that bread bait. So just keep that in mind. So catching five redfin pickerel in a row is probably going to be pretty difficult. But it can be done. Um, but it will probably take you like a day or night cycle just in order to get that completed. I prefer to do this in the Dakota River area, which is just south of uh, Van, uh, not Van Horn, but Valentine. Last but not least, we have the visited the peak of Mount Pagan. It's going to be the highest point in all of Red Dead Online that you can actually get to. Well, I guess by not glitching out of the map and whatnot like we were able to do before. But you got, just need to go to this location right here, and either Valentine or Strawberry will be your closest uh, fast travel destination of choice. Just keep in mind that you probably will want to wear winter gear when you go up here just because you will get pretty cold very quickly. Moving on to the bounty hunter roll, we got two bounties brought in from New Hanover posters. So you have Valentine, Van Horn, or even Emerald Station here. Three bounty targets lassoed with a reinforced or hogtied with a reinforced lasso. If you're going to be a bounty hunter, get that reinforced lasso as, as soon as you possibly can. It's like $240 or so, and it's going to be well worth the investment. Uh, three bounty targets lassoed from horseback. So you're going to go two from New Hanover. You're going to lasso them from when you're on horseback. And then you're going to hogtie them with the reinforced lasso. Once you get in, have obtained three of them, all three of these will be completed. Hopefully, I know that a lot of the bounty hunting ones are glitched and you can't complete them for whatever reason. But that's the way that it should work. The trader roll, we have 20 carcasses done within a 10 minute period. I highly recommend that you guys use the small animal carcasses. So bats, rats, toads, bullfrogs, western chipmunks, squirrels, um, crow, and any other really small bird. At the nighttime, it's a really good opportunity in the blue water marsh area. So pretty close to where Lagra is at. Um, you guys can find bats, rats, toads, and bullfrogs all in the evening hours. Um, otherwise, you can go to Elysian Pool, which is actually just a little bit north of where we're at right here. There's a cave right behind this waterfall over here where you guys can actually find bats and rats at any time of day. And if they're not there, for whatever reason, when you go there, come out of the cave, ride a distance away, and then go right back to that same exact location. And then they should have respawned for you. All right, moving on to the next one. We got six large animal carcasses and then seven medium animal carcasses donated to Crypt. So it's going to be anything on the back or the sides of the horse. It doesn't matter what the quality is, good, perfect, or poor. It really doesn't matter, just as long as you donate those total of 13 items to Crips. And it has to be the full car uh, carcass, so it can't be something that you plucked or skinned or anything like that. Uh, the collector roll, we got five bird eggs found. Again, bird eggs will be a part of cycle number three. Lost jewelry will be a part of cycle number five. And then you got three collectibles looted from non-player enemies. There's two different ways that you guys can do this. Number one, you can actually loot all of the enemies that you really want to. Or if you want the easy way and you don't care about actually getting a collectible because it is glitched right now, that you can actually just go ahead and skin the large alligators in the Blue Water Marsh Bayou NWA area. And this will actually get credited for you. So just go in and kill the large alligators, skin them, and then you'll receive a collectible. But you actually won't get a collectible inside of your item. Now, a lot of people think that you're getting a tooth, and that's supposed to be the collectible. But it's not part of a collectible set. And we're specifically talking about a collector daily challenge. So you would think that you would be getting a collectible from doing that, but you don't. So right now it's glitched, and Rockstar doesn't ever want to fix their glitches. So... There's always that. Anyway, moving on to the moonshine roll. We got one completed special moonshine recipe. So just go ahead and complete any one that you want that's considered a special moonshine. So that should be the the, the prairie poppy, the Caribbean rum, the argarita, or the creek plum flower one. We have two crafted toxic moonshine. This does require you guys to purchase that pamphlet. If you guys don't want to spend the money, don't do it. If you don't think you're ever going to do this, don't ever buy it. Because the only time I feel like you're ever going to craft the toxic moonshine is for the daily challenge. So it's $500 worth it to only get a maximum of 0.25 gold bars for a daily challenge when it might not even show up for that week. 
Just saying, it's up to you to decide. I won't decide that for you. For me, it's not worth it, but I already purchased it, and I kind of made my money back because I was able to do it for so long at 0.5 gold bars without it ever being decreased. Uh, we got one Moonshine sold with at least five minutes left, so basically do a Moonshine sell as fast as you possibly can. Then last but not least, we have the Naturalist Roll. We got three Forest River Animal Samples, whatever's the easiest in that category. Two Legendary Animal Samples taken. I highly recommend doing the uh, missions directly through Harriet at any of her locations because you're going to get your own Legendary Animal and it's always going to be guaranteed to be there instead of finding one naturally in the world. And then you have to find two Legendary Animals found using Pheromones. So what I would do is purchase or craft it depending on if you have the pamphlet or not. Get these pheromones and then go and do the missions through Harriet and then lay them down as soon as you see the question mark. And as soon as you get the question mark, go ahead and do that and then get the sample. And then these two should be done at the exact same time. But that is everything done, gone over and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding anything that we went over in today's video, by all means, leave a comment down below because I'd love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.